Hey guys, so just as expected, Apple has today officially released iOS 26 Developer Beta 5. Now, public beta testers, you'll most likely see the second public beta available to download within the next 24 to 48 hours. I'll keep you guys posted when the second public beta becomes available. Now, today, Apple also released all the other updates for their devices, iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, homeOS, tvOS, and of course, Vision OS, all beta 5s available as of today. Now I have to say that beta 5 already feels different. Apple has added some really nice touches to this latest update that makes it feel very different from the initial release of iOS 26. And I wanna talk about everything in today's video. So let's go ahead and dive right into this one. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is a brand new splash screen for the Apple Music application. So when you launch the application, you get greeted with this splash screen here, explaining some of the new features and capabilities within Apple Music for iOS 26, as you see right here listed on this list right here. The same thing happens within the Notes application. Apple goes over some of the new features added to the Notes application with iOS 26 on this latest beta which is always good to see because obviously once you install ios 26 you get an idea of some of the new features within each application and we'll see more of these splash screens as more betas become available but in the latest beta 5 apple adds the apple music and the notes splash screen now i also want to talk about the passcode and the animations within the control center for this latest beta which makes the software look entirely different and feel entirely different very animated very much alive which i really like let me show you let me lock this device here and when i go ahead and swipe up if i'm using the passcode you see that animation let me show you that again so swipe up and you see that the numbers come in with this really cool animation which i really like and if you install beta 5 you'll notice that right away now the same thing applies for the control center so if i swipe down and then go through the pages you see that that bouncy effect making the os feel very much alive feels very neat to use when you're using these types of animation with software now there's also some minor changes happening within the calculator application on the top right here you now have the calculator icon to switch between scientific math or conversion options available for the calculator options right there we also have a new option available for the way you scroll within the camera of your iphone apple has added a new camera control option that allows you to go back to the classic mode switching between modes inside of the camera so let me show you here in settings under camera let's go into camera right here scroll all the way to the bottom right there it is classic mode switching so when you turn that on obviously when you go into the camera you now have the classic scrolling instead of having to hold the bubble right there on liquid glass so now you have the classic scrolling if you don't like the new scrolling for liquid glass that is something new that apple has added within this latest beta as well now something else that i appreciate that apple changed here is inside of the emails application on previous betas you would have to tap on these three dots click the select option to select and delete certain emails now you have the select button right there and you can quickly select emails and delete them again a lot of refinements happening with this beta now other minor changes for example inside of the photos application if you go to share something by airdrop we now have a new airdrop icon right there it is take a look at the new airdrop icon within the latest ios 26 let me know what you think about this one i think i personally prefer the old white background airdrop icon but hey apple has switched it up and that's what the new airdrop icon looks like within the latest beta 5 for ios 26. i have to say i really like what apple is doing in terms of animation how liquid glass is still in place which i'm happy to report liquid glass obviously is one of those features that some users love some users hate but it looks like apple has found a nice balance between the liquid glass and the frosted glass elements within the os and i think the software feels a lot nicer this time around with beta 5. obviously i'll continue digging around the software liquid glass is still here the operating system just feels entirely new just by adding different animations to the software and if you're installing the beta i think you'll feel that yourself once you try the software out either way guys that about brings it into this video i'll keep you guys posted with a follow-up video if i find additional new features and changes which i'm sure i will and of course i'll let you guys know once the public beta is officially available thank you for watching have a great day guys and i'll see you on the next one peace